some of the things that are really noticeably different is funny enough like I think this is true no matter what country you go to, but the smell is just different. Like once you get off the airplane, you're just kind of hit with this air and it just, it smells different. And at first it kind of like, it didn't smell very good. And, but then after a little while you get used to it and you don't really notice that anymore. But I think the things that you really notice is that there's just, everybody's on scooters. Like the entire country of Taiwan rides scooters. So it's like streets full and like just packed full of scooters. And it looks kind of chaotic, and you're just like, what in the world? Like, these people, they're just, everyone's driving everywhere, and it's, it's just, it's chaos. But that's pretty different initially. Some things that are really, like, you notice kind of immediately off the bat, it's just the way things work is a little bit different. Because um, in the U.S., we can just drink tap water right out of the tap. But in Taiwan, you don't, nobody actually drinks the tap water. You just, you have a filter in your apartment that filters the tap water, and you can, like, after you have to filter stuff first before you can drink it. And I think another thing that I kind of, at first, I would like, I noticed, I was like, I don't feel like anyone smiles here. People don't smile. They just kind of go about their business and everyone kind of has like a, a sort of a stone. Everyone kind of has a stone face and you're just like, I mean, this is kind of intimidating because in America, people smile a lot. As we smile at strangers, we smile at people we don't really know. And so that was a little bit different getting used to is the fact that initially people didn't really smile. And then it's kind of funny because in Taiwan, the, uh, the light switches are on the outside of the door. So for example, if you're going to go to the bathroom, you have to turn on the light from the outside of the bathroom before you can actually like, it's like, so the so light, light switches aren't even like on, like in, like they're not even in the room that you're actually going to like use. So that took a little bit of getting used to. And it's funny because it's like the small things that you kind of start to notice that are like, this is different. There aren't a lot of public trash cans which was actually uh, kind of, it took a little bit of getting used to because it's like the only place you could find trash cans are like inside businesses or inside buildings, but there's not like a lot of like public trash cans and there's no drinking fountains. I don't think there's, yeah, there's not any drinking fountains. If you like, they'll have water coolers inside like the church or they'll have water coolers inside the businesses or whatever, but there's no like public drinking fountains. The cities in Taiwan are, they're quite pretty first world. Taiwan's a, I, I would say, I would consider Taiwan a first world country. Um, you, you pretty much have all the things that you need. You have like all your electronics or you have all your clothes or all the different kinds of international brands are available in the cities. There's a ton of housing, there's a ton of apartments because Taiwan's actually a very densely populated island. So a lot of people will live in high rises or they'll live in houses that are like right next to each other. And so that, it was kind of funny because I kind of had to get used to that because people were like, oh, it's in my house. And they would be, their houses are, they're like in the same building, but they're just in their separate section of the building is considered a house. The transportation system in Taiwan is, it's great. There are a number of trains. You take trains to most cities. And so the train systems, it's usually the trains are in time. It's very um, efficient. It's very easy. It's the travel, the, the travel is actually quite cheap in Taiwan to take trains to different places. And they even have like bullet trains with these high speed trains that go up and down the island. And so usually what would be a, like a five hour car ride between the southern part of the island to the very north where the capital is, it's probably like a five hour car drive and it, it's, it would take about an hour and a half by bullet train. So it's, they have a great transportation infrastructure and for places that the train doesn't actually reach, you have a bus system that you can take buses to and from different cities and, and things like that. And so it was very, very convenient. And Taiwan's such a densely populated island that it makes sense that they could have a train system because so many people use the transportation system. That was great. Like I loved the fact that it was so convenient to get places in Taiwan. The houses in Taiwan are very, very different than the houses here in the U.S. Uh, and I think it's due to the fact that it is such a densely populated country. People build up instead of building like out. Um, so most houses in Taiwan are usually three or four stories, but it's in a very narrow like plot of land. So it'll be kind of like narrow and like a little bit deeper, but then it'll go up a couple stories and you'll have your, you'll have your, your living room and then in the back it'll be the kitchen and then you'll have your bedrooms on the upper floors. It's interesting because the so the it's most a good way to describe it is kind of like concrete. It's kind of like the whole house is made out of the concrete, and they usually have tile floors. Um, and I think that like they I don't think I ever saw carpet my entire time when I was in Taiwan. I don't think they use carpet at all. It's just just tile. The houses were yeah they're definitely different a little bit. They're a little bit different for sure.